I, I now call Jim Allister. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I support this motion. I think the Minister has acted in a very wrong-headed and inappropriate way. I believe that he had obligations under Section 75, equality uh, proofing obligations, which he did not pursue whatsoever. I believe he had consultation obligations, uh, which he did not pursue altogether. And I believe he had obligations under the strange arrangements of this place, that this being a controversial matter, to take the issue to the executive. In making that case, I pick up the point that Lord Morrow made. And I say to the Union, I say to the Nationalist and Republican members of this House, if at a future point a Unionist Minister were to decide there now shall be a Union flag on the driving licence, wouldn't each and every Nationalist and Unionist in this House say, you must Section 75 proof that, you must consult on it, in a moment, you must consult on it, it is controversial, you must take it to the executive. Of course they would, because they would say that is changing the status quo. But it is precisely the status quo in the, in the United Kingdom that has been changed in this situation. The status quo that has evolved for the rest of the United Kingdom is the union flag on the driving license. The minister wants to depart from the status quo. Therefore, the minister had an obligation to consult, an obligation to recognize it was controversial, and an obligation to pursue his Section 75 obligations. And in failing to do that, the, the minister, I believe, failed in his responsibilities. Then he tells us, oh, we cannot have the option of, of having the union flag. That isn't possible. Could I remind the House? People in Northern Ireland pay more for their driving license than the rest of the United Kingdom. The minister's colleague had a consultation back in 2012, consultation on the motor vehicle driving license fees amendment regulations. He had a consultation about that, and the consultation was to increase, exclusive to Northern Ireland, the fees for driving license from the UK standard of £50 to £62.50. Why? Because the consultation said because there is a separate production line in respect of Northern Ireland driving licences and it's too small to sustain it at the £50 level. So we know that option exists and therefore it follows that by virtue of that already paid for separate provision, there is the option if the minister wanted to take it off affording uh, the, the, the uh, Northern Ireland license holder the right to have uh, the union flag on their uh, driving license. So I very much regret that the attitude the minister has taken, I think even yet he should be reviewing that, and it really does bring home to one the hypocrisy of those who talk about equality but when it comes to equality for unionists, it's just neutrality. It's never, new, it's never equality. It's never respect for what they want. They talk about parity of esteem, but when there's an opportunity to tear down the flag of City Hall or tear it off or, or make sure it doesn't go in the driving license, it's pursued, it's grasped, it's taken. And I think those who pursue that course of, of action need to examine their, their stance. Next time they feel compelled to make one of these effusive speeches about parity of esteem and equality and all of that. I think this is a shameful decision and it's one that the minister should reverse.